My name is Tim Forcade. My primary medium at the moment is photography. I have been making art since I was hatched. I started as a little kid uh, drawing, a lot of doing, doing a lot of drawing and doing it uh, regularly and seriously and have done it ever since. You know, I have to say that the world has more of an impact on me though. I mean, it's uh, such an incredibly strange place, so phenomenologically wacky and, and at times kind of overwhelming. I do have a favorite art word and that art word is process. And process is what absolutely and continuously drives what I do. I cannot get and never have been able to get product oriented. I don't care about the outcome. I just care about that stream and that lovely experience of just engaging with what you're working on and doing it and doing it and doing it and learning and learning and, ex and discovering and discovering. And I can't say how many, well, paintings. I would paint on a painting. I would work it and work it and work it until it was like a luffing sail. It'd just be dead. The colors would be dead. The, the whole thing would just be shot. And, and I'd just rip it off the wall and do another one, do the same thing. My parents, at one point, um, wanted to know what I wanted to do with my life and we were having a little family dinner deal. And you know, it's like, well, Tim, what do you want to do when you grow up? You know, and I'm a little sprat. You know? So I said, uh, I want to be an artist. My mother proceeds to, I'm not kidding, break down at the table, starts sobbing wildly and going on about, you're going to starve in a garret, all those things, you know, and uh, which subsequently was true, you know, it turned out to be exactly right. But the, the best part of this is at the time, they had these things, the pirate on the matchbook, I don't know, you have to be older probably to know about this, but they used to have this thing, it, was, it just said, draw me. You would draw the pirate, send that in, and then somehow qualify for some, uh, you know, shtuk to come around your house and sell you the famous artist school package which I took. So early on, I got exposure to commercial art too, which subsequently, uh, I think, kind of let me segue between fine art and commercial art to make a living while I was being an artist. You know, too. So any, any working artist, I don't care what level you consider yourself at, you should be a, a member here. I've always had great experiences with Kansas City Artist Coalition. It's always been great. Janet Simpson is a holy woman to me. I mean, she has taken this and carried it on her back. I mean, obviously, there are many people involved and there's much support, but that woman has been absolutely incredible to me. And uh, she's given me many opportunities to show my work when other people wouldn't. I mean, you know, it's that same thing uh, a bit around uh, people not being able to relate to what you do. I mean, I've had people ask me, where are you from? Or, you know, as if to say, from what planet, you know, because they, they have trouble relating to what I'm doing. So for 50 bucks a year, you get uh, inclusion in a community and the, the opportunity to show your work at least once a year. Now, that is an incredible deal. And it, you, will, you will cross paths with artists at all levels, so you will be able to mentor and you will be able to be mentored. And that also is an incredible thing in a single uh, community. I mean, a lot of times you get in a gallery and you got hot shoes, you know, that don't talk to you. Or, you know, or if they do, you know, they're too busy. They may be sweethearts, but they can't get, you know, there's no time. In this community, it's not like that. It's very open. A lot of times you try to approach a, a conventional gallery with things that are not, uh, well, at least more strictly marketable, and they will just go, well, I'm sorry, Tim, I like your work, but, you know, I don't know what to do with it, which I've heard many, many times. Not so here. Not so with KCAC. They let you actually have the experience of putting your work out, of engaging people about it, of organizing it in a different space than your studio, and that's critical. I mean, just in this space right here where I had a solo show a few years ago, just to be able to get this far away from my work is worth it, worth all the effort. That one thing changes a lot because you begin to get a perspective on your work that you wouldn't otherwise have.